All right, man, I seen a Piston article that said that um, Tarzan Langdon has already made his first mistake by uh, choosing to keep Monty Williams as his head coach. I'm saying, was he forced to keep Monty as his head coach? Uh, because we know Troy Weaver was forced to stick with Dwayne Casey. He was forced to be with Monty Williams. So, once again, ain't nothing changed, like Young Buck said, but the number on the range. And all that mean is, ain't nothing changed but the year. Same ass shit with the Pistons, man. And, you know, he probably was he probably was forced to keep money. I'm telling y'all, he wasn't about to fire Troy. He just paid Troy Tom Gores an extension, so he got to eat that. Then you're going to eat $60 million? He wasn't willing to do that, bro. Now, Troy, Monty might be on the sore lease next year, and he might get fired by the All-Star break or somewhere, you know, there before that. But um, he was forced to keep Monty Williams, bro. It ain't nothing gonna change this organization until Tom Wars leave. That's just you gotta keep it a bean. You gotta keep it a bean stalker. You know, ain't nothing gonna ain't nothing gonna change with dog. And so be it. Fuck it. You know, the tiger's gonna be going in the right direction, the wings going in the right directions, and miss and uh the lion's gonna be going in the right direction. I take that. I take it. All day. I take it all day. I ain't gonna be a spoiled brat. I take all them going in the right direction. If pisses wanna be the bottom base, be the bottom of the basement, so be it. I, I, I can deal with that. But that man was forced to keep money. Was anytime I see somebody come into an organization, anytime I see somebody come into an organization, they got it this bad. Come on, man. They got the clean house and pick who they wanted to pick. So to me, once again, you get a guy with little or no experience running a franchise by itself, right? Because nobody with experience wanted to touch this franchise. Um, you know, and now, once again, you micromanage him. You make him keep money. That's what I'm assuming was. And yep, I know some should get people in trouble, but I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give Tarzan Langdon the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say he was forced to keep that man. That's what I'm going to say. He was forced to keep that dude. And at the end of the day, just like Troy was had to, had a shotgun marriage with Dwayne Casey and a shotgun marriage with uh with Monty Williams. Tell me y'all what it is, bro. It's hard for rich men to give up control. You know? It's hard for that shit to happen. So... That's just what I, I feel about it. I'm going to give him a pass. He was stuck with Monty, and it's hot as hell early already. It is hot. This is like 7.30 in the morning, and it's hot as hell. I'm like a chick getting her makeup on, going to work, brushing my hair. I ain't put my do-rag on this morning. When I went back out this morning, I ain't had time. But, uh, but, yeah, I mean, shit, it is what it is. I feel like he was forced to keep old buddy, man. And, you know, maybe... Maybe old buddy going to do better this year. I don't know, man. But the pissing games is fun to go downtown and do something. If you went to going downtown, which I'm not. <laughs> I went down there when I was younger. Did the clubs. You know, uh, did the random pop-up tattoo parties down there. Got invited to random bachelor bachelor parties and shit, man. I had plenty of fun. Got into fights. You know, if you see me down there, I'm either at Locos. <laughs> the casino. That's about it. That's about it. You know, I got a couple other restaurants that uh, that I like down there, but I don't go downtown too often. I like that they make the festivals. You got to pay to get in, so that's something that I fuck with it's heavy. You know, that I fuck with heavy. Uh, and, you know, I hit one uh, African festival. That's the only one I hit because I, I like going to the black vendors and getting things that I can't necessarily find out here. So. If I do go to one, it'll be that one or if somebody take me, whatever. I'll go ahead and go with them where they want to go. But no, I don't. I mean, you see me at a Piston game. I used to work the Lions game, so I've been to a bunch of them. But <clears throat> I might hear a Tiger game. But like I said before, that man was forced to keep that uh, Monty Williams. In. Like I said before, that's probably why a lot of experienced people didn't want to take the job. Like, ain't no micromanaging. When I say what I need, you deliver. I'm not taking no orders from you. And understandably so, bro. Like, I get it. I get it. So, shit, it is what it is. 
I, don't, I mean, I don't see them turning it around. Um, I would like to see him pick his own coach and see where it would have went, but you know, Monty being there, a lot of people gonna get turned off right now. If they start winning some games, you know, people gonna come back like roaches. You know that. But if they, you know, just, this, if this franchise, you think it hit rock bottom? If they don't start winning next year, if they don't start winning next year, they're really gonna hit rock bottom. They really gonna hit rock bottom. If they don't start winning next year, and they start off bad, it's over. With. I mean, if I'm a player, if I'm a player, dude, I'm trying to, uh, you know what, man? I'm not about to sit in this line. I'm gonna keep it funky. This line down the street, <laughs> literally. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. I don't really understand the flow of traffic out out here. Because some days it don't be nobody. When I say some days it don't be nobody out here, and I'm about to do some mad ignorant. So when I say sometimes it'll be nobody down this street, and then other days it'll be all the way down the road. But nonetheless, um, I did something ignorant. But yeah, nonetheless, man, they start off good, right? I mean, the Pistons in the last few years, they're not even going in the right direction to give you any hope. They're not even going in the direction to be like, okay, we give y'all a little bit of hope. <laughs> they can't even give us a little bit of hope. You know? Like, they don't even like it's going in the right direction. They got no identity, bro. Like, what is they calling card? They're not fun to watch. They're not scrappy. Now, you're not gritty. They not, they not tough. They just bland. It's like, it's like drinking unflavored creatine or some shit. Unflavored protein. They just bland. They ain't even got, it's, they so bland, they don't even come with the afterbite. The little tart taste at the end and shit. They don't even got the afterbite. They just, like you eat nothing. <laughs> you know, like you eat absolutely nothing. Eating air. Taste the air. What day they say on the next Friday? Taste the air. <sighs> you know, that's how it man. Come on, man. Shit. They ain't offering nothing. It's just, this is like one of the worst periods, man. Even the, the, the UPN Pistons was fun to watch. They, you know, Jamil Hill, old Carmel neckhead ass, talking about, I hate the, it just represented a bad era. Oh, come on now. The UPN Pistons was fun to watch, bro. They were. This shit is a bad era. Then burn these jerseys then. Remember the burn these jerseys they wearing now. Any jersey they've been up to date they've been wearing, burn it. Because they trash. They trash, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk, Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Uh, appreciate the love, support, man. Like I said, check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Check the link tree out. You can find me everywhere there. Peace.